Flagship smartphones in 2020 are a dime a dozen, but there's very few that set the bar a notch higher. This is one of those, the Oppo Find X2 Pro. It's got an exhaustive list of specifications and the performance to match, and in this video, I'm going to tell you why this is one of my most favorite smartphones of 2020. But first, let's quickly unbox the device and see everything it packs in. In this large reviewer's box that I've been sent, there's first a greeting, which when lifted reveals the retail box underneath. Next to it is this carbon fibre phone case along with a reviewer's guide. Let's set that aside and get to the meat of it. The retail box has a really nice reflective pattern on it. And if you look carefully, this is the black ceramic model with 12GB RAM and 512GB of storage. Open up the lid and you'll be greeted with a smaller box for the TPU case, manuals and SIM ejector tool. Underneath that, there's the phone itself in all its shiny glory. Lift the paper tray below that and you'll see the charging brick and a container for the earphones. In the container for the earphones, there's the USB Type-C earphones themselves, a USB Type-C charging cable and a few extra ear tips. The charging adapter is a massive 65 watt unit and I'll talk more about the phone's insane charging speeds later in the video. Now that we've got all that out of the way, let's get into the review. The first thing you'll notice about the Find X2 Pro is its gorgeous 6.7 inch display. Now, Quad HD resolutions and high refresh rates are the order of the day, but most flagships either have one or the other, and the ones that have both aren't able to gel them together. Here's looking at you, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, the Find X2 Pro makes no such compromises in that department. It's a 120Hz refresh rate, QHD Plus AMOLED screen with a 1440x3168 resolution and yes, you can have both those things running at the same time. The HDR10 Plus certified display also sports 10-bit color, that's 64 times more than what conventional 8-bit screens offer, so content on this display looks stunning. There's also the O1 UltraVision engine which offers video enhancements, like being able to provide a wider color gamut to non-HDR content. It can also boost videos up to a smooth 60fps or even 120fps. Now, while this system doesn't support all video content, it is supported by popular apps like YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Tencent Sports, and a few others. I'll be honest though, I didn't notice a whole lot of difference with the system turned on while watching content on Netflix, but it's still good to have a feature that can boost video quality should the need arise. The Find X2 Pro also gets a 240Hz touch sampling rate, so not only will this screen give you the maximum frames while playing games, but also the quickest responses and reaction times. Take all of this into account and it's not hard to see why DisplayMate rated this screen an A+, its highest grade. There's also a natural tone mode that uses sensors to determine the ambient light temperature and changes the color of the screen accordingly. A common criticism of the Find X2 Pro screen are the curved edges, but honestly, it's not all that bad. I used the phone with a cover pretty much the entire time, and with that setup, I had virtually no accidental touches. Bezels are quite slim, and along with the selfie camera and a hole punch, it gives the phone a whole lot of screen real estate. Now let's move on to the camera of the Oppo Find X2 Pro. On this vertical slit on the back, you'll notice two lenses that are circular and one that's rectangular. This is the phone's ultra vision camera system that incorporates a 48 megapixel main camera, a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 13 megapixel telephoto camera. These three put together offer a ton of versatility, and with the powerful hardware, Oppo has done away with the need of a dedicated macro sensor or a dedicated depth sensor. Just get really close to a subject and the camera app automatically engages an ultra macro mode. There's a dedicated night mode and portrait mode and Google Lens as well. The 13 megapixel periscope system offers up to 10x hybrid zoom and can go as high as 60x, although pictures at that range aren't great. I found that pictures taken with both 5x and 10x zoom were very sharp with crisp details and could easily pass off as primary sensor images from a mid-range smartphone. The 48 megapixel main sensor produces natural colors without oversaturating the image, and there's great depth of field even without the portrait mode. However, if you'd like punchier colors, you can turn on the AI Dazzle mode, which will essentially boost saturation. 
I quite like the idea of a 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor. It means you can get a unique perspective to all your pictures without losing a ton of detail. The ultra wide images with the Find X2 Pro are proof of that, although there is a fair bit of distortion towards the corners of the frame. If you thought the lack of a dedicated macro sensor was going to be a problem here, well, you're wrong. The ultra macro mode captures great detail while preserving accurate colors. Along with this, there's an ultra night mode, and I'll be honest, there's a significant difference with pictures you take with the system and without it. What I mean is, if you're looking for a more dramatic image with pronounced shadows, you're better off keeping the night mode off. But if you want to light up everything in the frame, including the darker areas, then you can get the job done with the ultra night mode. Either way, the Find X2 Pro's camera performs well in low light conditions. In addition to photography, this phone is quite capable when it comes to video too. You can shoot footage at up to 4K 60fps and Oppo has offered an ultra steady mode for stabilization, which does smooth out the bumps very well while still being able to record at 1080p. The selfie camera on this phone is a 32 megapixel unit and with the brand's history of focusing on pictures with the front sensor, it's pretty decent. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of beauty modes and face slimmers and things like that, things that Oppo offers in copious amounts with its front camera software. But the good news is, if you're like me, you can just turn those things off and disable them completely. In good lighting, the selfies are sharp with natural colors, but in low light conditions, the image tends to be a bit soft. Edge detection with the portrait mode tends to be a bit iffy as well, but since this is a single sensor system, AI is doing most of the work, so it's understandable. In the performance department, the Find X2 Pro is an absolute beast of a machine. At the top of its spec sheet sits the latest and greatest Snapdragon 865 5G chipset, 12GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 512GB of UFS 3.0 storage. Gaming performance on this phone is as smooth as it gets with the highest frame rates possible thanks to that 120Hz refresh rate I spoke of before and the accompanying 240Hz touch sampling rate that makes for lightning fast touch response. This hardware is amplified by the GameSpace app that lets you block incoming notifications and directs all of the phone's horsepower to just the gameplay if you so wish. These are things you usually see on gaming smartphones and it's good to see Oppo raise the bar for flagships in general. I should point out, however, that not all games are going to be able to use that high refresh rate. If you're playing Call of Duty Mobile, you'll notice a very slight difference over a standard 60Hz screen, but if you're playing games like Injustice 2, the phone will make full use of all that 120Hz goodness. The 12GB RAM plays a big role in multitasking, with apps running in the background rarely booting up from scratch when you access them even after a while. The 512GB storage is not expandable, but in my opinion, it's more than enough for a reasonable amount of usage. Now, when it comes to battery life, that 120Hz refresh rate and the QHD Plus resolution really eat into it. And if you're like me and tend to keep your brightness cranked up for most of the day, the battery is going to be just about good enough for a day's usage. The good news here, however, is ultra fast charging speeds, probably the fastest available anywhere right now. With its 4260mAh of cumulative battery split into two separate cells for faster concurrent SuperVOOC 2.0 charging, the Find X2 Pro goes from zero to full in under 40 minutes on an average, significantly faster than any competitor. Unfortunately, there's no wireless charging, which I think is a bit of a letdown considering the price and flagship status of the phone. It's worth noting though that if you want to control the battery life better, you can set the screen refresh rate and resolution to auto select so the phone will offer the best mix of the two depending on whether you're watching content, browsing an article or playing games. Now an important part of any smartphone is its operating system and with ColorOS 7.1, Oppo has shown that they've really come a long way from previous generations. The interface has been cleaned up quite a lot, extra features have been significantly improved and no longer does this look like an iOS clone. There's a really nice dark mode that applies itself to almost all of the default apps and looks great on this OLED panel along with edge lighting effects for incoming calls and notifications. More control over the interface has been offered with ColorOS like this multi-user mode, a quick gesture for split screen mode and another gesture for screenshots. On the edge of the screen, you'll find the smart sidebar that holds a few nifty features like screen recording and floating chat heads for supported apps. Oppo has thoughtfully included an app to wind down. The Oppo Relax app offers guided breathing exercises, ambient sounds and calming music, all supported by Dolby Atmos. 
The phone runs Android 10 and while Oppo doesn't have a great track record when it comes to timely software updates for its mid-range phones, one can only hope they make an exception for their flagship device. Last but definitely not the least, let's talk about the Oppo Find X2 Pro's design. It's offered in two options, this ceramic black one and an orange vegan leather finish. While the orange model looks much flashier, I like the muted look the ceramic model sports. There are these slight ridges on the back that add a little bit of grip and create rather pretty patterns under the right lighting. If you're worried about dents and scratches, you can slap on the included transparent TPU case, or if you want something nicer, Oppo sells this carbon fiber case that goes well with the all black look. Every corner of the phone looks polished and there's some nice attention to detail like the green accent on the power button. The earpiece grille on top sits almost flush with the bezel and it plays a role in the phone's stereo speaker setup along with the speaker on the bottom. It's an IP68 rated device so it's as well protected as possible even in the clumsiest of hands. There's a fingerprint scanner underneath the display as well that's really fast and didn't give me a single false reading the entire time I used it. So to sum up, the Oppo Find X2 Pro is a genuine spec monster. Its list of hardware is enough to frighten any competition, and with software that finally backs up the performance, Oppo has shown real growth. At this price point, there's many contenders to choose from, including the likes of Samsung and OnePlus, but for me, the Oppo Find X2 Pro is still my favorite. Why? Well, simply put, because it does everything and then some.